Cameron signing for Colchester United, how did the move come about, especially given that, that all the uh, drama on transfer deadline day was on Friday and everyone thought it was all over? Yeah, um, obviously I know Dimi, Dimitri quite well um, from my time at Norwich. Um, so yeah, he was sort of speaking to me a lot, a lot during the, uh, the window about potentially coming down. Um, and yeah, it just worked out in the end that yeah, we managed to get everything, everything organised and sorted and yeah, obviously good to be here now. Yeah. The last place you were playing is, was in Belgium and you know, how did that finish up and uh, what you've been doing with yourself pre-season training wise? Yeah, um, obviously did three years in Belgium, um, obviously it was a great experience, um, but obviously always wanting to come back uh, to England um, and I think this is sort of the perfect place to come and put my stamp down again in England. Um, but yeah, I've just been training with, uh, with, a, with, a, with a trainer, personal trainer who works for Chelsea um, from when I was there when I was younger. So that's been good, I've been sharp, keeping fit um, and yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, how how much harder mentally is it to be trained on your own when you know everyone around is uh, training with their squads during pre-season? Yeah, difficult. Um, and yeah, like I said, coming back from a, from a new country, I just had a baby as well. So there's a lot of things, a lot of things going on. You're a free agent, sort of trying to sort out where you're going to go next, trying to make what make the right decision for your family. And um, and yeah, I'm just obviously happy that sort of got something sorted now. Yeah, and obviously from your past uh, football uh, experience as well, you're no stranger to, to playing at this level in League Two. You must feel that that must help you going forward once you do get in and around the squad. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, yeah, obviously I was at Luton um, back in the day. and uh, Obviously did quite well there and then eventually moved to Barnsley. Um, yeah, I know the EFL very well. Um, and yeah, just sort of looking forward to three o'clock on a Saturday playing and uh, getting, getting back involved and uh, yeah, just getting some minutes. Yeah. And how different was the experience in Belgium playing football? Yeah, it's completely different. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's very, very cool, very different experience. They've got some really big clubs, obviously playing against Champions League teams. Um, yeah, obviously the language, different culture. Um, it was, yeah, something that I really enjoyed. Um, my wife moved over with me as well. Um, uh, we lived in Bruges, which is quite a cool place. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do something different, and it was yeah, it was really enjoyable. And there was some different paths from there to maybe go to a different foreign club, but just felt like it was the right time, to sort of come back, uh, come back to England. And yeah, I mean, England's been difficult to get back into. I think people that sort of you, you go away and you're sort of forgotten about a little bit, uh, which I find quite funny because it's obviously been playing in a top league um, so yeah I mean they ended up because of Dimitri and stuff like having some really good discussions with him and I just think this is a perfect place to come and uh, come and get going again.